Gosh, dude, you guys, you guys always bring that heat. Are we having fun yet? Can I just, can I just say I love you guys? Like seriously, can I just say, can I just say I love you? Because every single time I ask a question, you guys are quick with an answer. And I asked if there was anything, I asked YouTube members in, in particular, if there was anything that you wanted me to go over, any questions, any suggestions. And yeah, you guys came with the heat, Jay San and Theodore Brown. I'm gonna go with Theodore Brown's because I just found his comments so interesting. So before we talk about that really quickly, if you guys wanna support the channel, um, we will be doing a trivia prize. This is the trivia prize for the month, last Friday of the month, in which I will be giving out a prize for whoever wins trivia. So I will send out a link to all patron and YouTube members, and you guys will be able to compete for this Tim Duncan plaque because I want to give back to you. And if you want to just give out of the goodness of your heart, it's only $2 per month, okay? It's, it's only two, it, two, two dollars, bro. Okay, all right, let's talk about this. All right, so he said, what's up, clan, big fan? I'm a big fan of you, Theodore. I'm a big fan of you. But my question is, if you were in control of trading and waving, who would you give up? and who would you keep? So this isn't gonna be a long video, okay? I'm just gonna give my thoughts. I'm gonna go straight into it because honestly, it took me a little time to think about it, but not really. So first and foremost, I think most people probably came, it came straight to your head. Okay, Lonnie Walker, let him walk. Uh, most people, I, I, I would say, I would argue 70, 30 probably said, yes, let Lonnie Walker walk. Now with Lonnie Walker, the more I thought about it, the more I looked into like who we would have in free agency, what kind of options we would have. I don't really think it's a point just let him walk. What I would do is offer him what we can offer him, which I believe is about six million, seven million. You can correct me in the in the comments. I, I'm pretty sure I'm right. About six million, I believe. So yeah, I would offer him that. And you know, if he finds a better deal, he finds a better deal. And then I would let him walk. But overall, I think Lonnie Walker. Um, he has a lot of room. This is going to be a different transition of his career, especially not having Derek White there anymore. So it, he's going to take on a more prominent role. And yeah, I, I, I just don't know yet. He's just one of those players I don't know yet. I really like Lonnie, but the potential is obviously there. Now, who would I let go? Now, the easiest one out of everybody is Sadoransky. Um, I believe that he's basically gone anyway. Uh, and I don't really see a use for him. Not to say he's not a bad, like a good player. He is a good player. Um, but just the direction that we're going in, I, I don't see him long-term whatsoever. Um, also, now this one might be a shocker, but possibly Josh Richardson. Um, I would try to find a way to, this, this is my ideal scenario, okay? I would try to find a way to trade him in some capacity. I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we got him for another year. So he's, yeah, two years. Yeah, I, I would try my best to, try to move them and, and just get something out of that. Um, maybe potentially even in the draft, if we have to try to move up in any possibility, which I really do believe the Spurs are planning to do something about uh, this upcoming draft. So that's, that was my, that's my take on Josh Richardson. Um, he is a good, you know, good, good, decent defender, uh, spark plug off the bench, but I, I don't think we need that. Uh, especially if my ideal scenario, I'm keeping Lonnie. I, I don't, I don't need another spark plug uh, right now. Also, now these are the ones that I think people might have some con contention with. Uh, Kita Base Diop, I, I would let him go. Not to say that he's not a good defender, okay, he is, but he's in one of those weird spots, like he's a power forward, but sometimes you gotta move him to small forward and he can't really guard guys around the perimeter well. He can eventually get that, he can block some shots, but overall, I feel like he's a little slow on the defensive end. and. You this is going to be a little ironic because you guys are going to get mad. All right, so Devontae Kakak, um, that's another guy I would let go. So um, I know that a lot of people like him. Uh, I, I, I think he's a fine player. I, I just don't see him being what a lot of fans think he'll be. I, I just I just don't. With us, I, I just don't see it. Um, so as it stands right now, my ideal scenario, Kata goes, Devontae goes, Josh Richardson, try to trade up or you know get something in return and uh, Sadoransky gone. Now, here's the question. Now, here's, here's the question, all right? I'm gonna get this out of the way really quick. So here's the question. 15-man roster, who's on my 15-man roster? So ideal scenario, we kept Lonnie, right? I would make sure Kita, Devontae, obviously gone, but they're two forwards. We're going in the draft. Yes, get us some forwards, okay? I, I need to look more into the draft. I need to look into all of our uh, options, and, and you already know I'm gonna bring like 
almost every single prospect on a video like every single one of them is going to get a video so don't worry about that but as it stands right now look that's just my placeholder okay these are going to be two draft guys um hopefully early first round picks and, and we can early mid first round picks and, and we'll be good in that department um and let and allow them to get some some minutes now obviously romeo stays uh, i don't think i mentioned him but yeah I, I would i would you know keep him uh now here's the question now who fills these two spots these two gentlemen are gone so who fills these spots now this is what i would do i said this already i will bring back kyle anderson now i know you guys are already like yelling at me and saying that this is stupid and it might be it might be silly it might be crazy but i do believe that kyle anderson is a sort of glue for us right now now i'm not crazy about the whole oh we need you know veterans on the team not at this point like you need some but i don't know our players are so mature that even the 18 year old here feels like a veteran so i don't know but yeah veterans are good but overall look look kyle anderson is a vet, vet all right he'll be replacing josh richardson and i think that he'll be more effective in that role if he was the one to come off the bench because he's a good defender now th this is what i was saying where people say well he's slow you said Kate is slow no, no he's a good defender he's a good playmaker good facilitator high iq basketball and he fills a position that i think will be a really nice bridge as i said in another video into getting these two new guys okay now not these in particular but you know i'm talking about the two new fours that we'll get getting them implemented into the nba it'll be a nice easy smooth transition where it's not too much on them right then so yeah overall i would love kyle anderson to be in that spot because he knows the spurs system he's a good player facilitator playmaker and I, I just want to see him with josh prima honestly now that's a segue you ever seen a segue that was just a segue that was that was a segue now josh primo i would want josh primo to be with my boy joe wheezy i know we do not talk about joe wheezy a lot um because no one really talks about him but joe wheezy i would most definitely love for joe wheezy to come into the spot into the 15 man roster and who will replace his spot as far as like you know come traveling back from the g league or whatnot and it will be another draft pick but that's besides the point look i would love okay love for joe wheezy to play with josh primo because every single time i see these two play together it is magic and i know that joe wheezy plays a similar role that doug mcdermott would play but wouldn't it be so nice with him being a sharpshooter doug mcdermott being one of the better sharpshooters in the nba that he could learn from him and doug mcdermott has not been available a lot this season assuming that he's not available next season a lot or a bunch or we don't have to overly utilize them it would be nice to joe wheezy to come into that role and be that sharpshooter because i really do believe in his ability he doesn't do too much he plays decent defense but he doesn't do too much he uh he knows what his role is he knows what he's good at and yeah he was he won't overstep anybody else while devin Fassell is trying to find his spark and find his way in the nba of becoming a star and hopefully you know i'm keeping lonnie walker and Lonnie Walker is still finding his way. Keep in mind, he's only 23. Okay, I'm not going to be too mean. All right, he's still trying to find his way. And then, you know, DeJounte Murray being the star of the team right now. And Keldon Johnson still finding his way. Josh Primo still finding his way. I think it will fit in right where we need him. And I think that will be a perfect fit. So, overall summary. All right, who would I want? I want two bigs out of the draft. Maybe small for it. Maybe power for it. We got to look at the options, okay? Shoot, I might take a point guard. I don't know. I don't i might take a shooting or who knows but yeah so these are my two draft picks will be up here and then right here josh sorry bro i will replace you with my guy kyle because i just think that it fits better and i would move my boy joe up to this spot so yeah that's what i would do um i think that was a very fine question very simple question but like one that we don't talk about a lot so big shout out to theodore brown like jay san thank you so much for your comment as well but um yeah man i, I just really like that theodore brown one um, and i might get back to yours I, I like yours too um but yeah look guys thank you so much for supporting the channel like you do like liking it subscribing all that stuff i put a lot of effort into this some people think that this is all i do like no no dude no i'm gone all day so i'm like grinding it out so thank you guys so much just for the love and um like i said if you guys want to support the channel please support it all right i'll give it you guys later man until next time